Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome again to today's presentation. My name is Angela Hooper Minifield. I'm the Chief Equipping Officer of Minifield and Associates LLC, where we build and equip supervisors and teams. I'm also the founder and creator of the Sisterhood of Successful Women membership group. Today, I'd like to talk to you just a little bit about how to cultivate the development of your team within your organization. Every day across America, individuals are being promoted within their organizations specifically because they have a technical skill. The problem is they have yet to develop the interpersonal skills that they need to be great leaders. Now, the reason why I am so passionate about this topic is because I was one of those individuals. Now, let me ask the audience a question. Have any of you ever worked for a manager and you thought to yourself, who promoted him or her? I mean, they were terrible. <laughs> okay, I see you, so I see I'm not the only one. So back when I was in my early 20s, I started my career with the federal government. And very technically sound, hard worker, I did all the things that I needed to do. So very quickly, the agency saw a need to elevate me and promote me into a position of leadership. Well, I became the regional director of a territory of four states. And I'll never forget, I walked in there the first day because, right, I'm the big shot. I am the one calling all the shots, making the decisions. As they say, kicking butt and taking names, right? So I walk into the place and I set some order because the reason why this vacancy was available because my predecessor had not been a very effective manager. So I come in day one, have an all employee meeting. Anybody else that remember those meetings? You know, when managers call a meeting for everyone in the organization, even though there's only a handful of people with the real problem. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. So I call this group meeting and I bring everybody together. And the topic on hand was attendance. I had inherited a team of people who didn't seem to know how to get to work on time. So I effectively say, effective tomorrow, if you are late or do not come to work without a notice from a doctor or some other way to verify that, you will be marked AWOL. And for those of you who don't know what AWOL is, that's absence without leave. If you accumulate three of these, you will be terminated. This was day one. Now, I could see the faces in the room. There were hundreds of people in my meeting. Many of them were not happy. Next day, I come to work. So day two on the job. And my boss's boss's boss, or as I like to say, the big boss, he shows up in my office. He says, uh, Angela, I'd like to talk to you for a minute. I say, OK. He said, first, I want to say that you've done something no one has ever done to my recollection. Recollection. Now, I think he's about to give me a compliment. What he tells me is, on my first day as the new manager of this territory, I had received my first EEO complaint. Yes, one of my employees had called Washington, D.C. and filed a complaint about the changes in the attendance policy that I was making. He said, I think this is a record. Day one on the job, an official complaint. Now, the, long, the short version of the story is the complaint didn't go anywhere because I had not violated anybody's EEO rights. But it was an intention getter for me. Because what I was understanding in that moment was, while I was technically sound, I was not equipped to lead people. So now let me talk to you about what I do every day for organizations, corporations, and individuals across the world. I build and equip supervisors and teams. In other words, I take your new managers, your new leaders, your new supervisors, and up-level their skills so they will know how to better impact the organization. Now, the formula that I use is very simple. I help people get their act together. In this context, the first letter, A, is about accountability. As a new supervisor and a leader, you have to not only be accountable to yourself, but you have to be accountable to your team. Anybody ever work for a manager 
that had rules for everybody else, but somehow the rules didn't seem to um, apply to them? Yes, they were lacking in self-accountability. Then there's C, communication. So often we see communication about what is it we're saying to the people, right? Like right now, I'm communicating with you through my words on this stage. But guess what? I also have to be cognizant of what you're giving me back. So whether it's your attention, and I thank you for it, whether it's the fact that you're on your phone, if you're whispering, you are communicating with me in essence whether or not my message is resonating. So we help new supervisors and leaders understand how to effectively communicate so that they can connect with their team or their audience. Lastly, it's about thinking through the process. What are the steps? What are the processes? What are the things that you need to up-level and leverage so that you can lead your team effectively? So we work through systems, understanding how to role play particular um, supervisory skills, because we also know that adult learners need the intellectual knowledge and then the connection of the practical application in order to retain information at a rate of 65% more. Having that awareness, we provide a variety of methods of learning. So through accountability, communication and connection, and thinking things through step by step, we can help you as a new supervisor or your organization get your act together. Now, for those of you who would like to be a part of my supervisory academy or just consult on coaching and mentoring for your team, you can connect with me at www.minifieldandassociates.com. That's my last name, minifieldandassociates.com, or reach out for a 15-minute consultation call at www.getyouractogether.coach. That's www.getyouractogether.coach. Connect with me and let us determine how I can help you not only up-level yourself as a leader, a manager, but also your team. Because when we don't do this properly, we end up elevating people who are ill-equipped and we send them down a path that I like to refer to as leadership regret. Thank you again, everybody, for this presentation opportunity today. It has been my pleasure to serve you, and I look forward to working with you and your organization in the very near future. Goodbye.